the mond and welcome back to my channel. All right. So as you can see my face is still broken out. It looks fabulous. I already know. So I was originally going to do a full face beat today, like a full face of makeup, you know? I was going to look fabulous. It'd be great, which is also why my eyebrows are like actually all the way done today, you know, slightly over the top. But then I was like, "You know what? Fuck this. I'm too lazy. I don't feel like doing a full face. You feel me?" So then instead, today I'm going to be showing you guys a legit natural makeup look and how to achieve that without putting on 12 pounds of makeup, you know? And this has actually been my uh, go-to makeup look as of late. So let's get this shit started. So I'm gonna start by putting on my Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief, which always cracks me the fuck up, and uh, put that on my face. And then my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. <laughs> And then I'm gonna be color correcting my really fucked up face, all the redness and shit, and dropping things as I usually do. Yeah, the lyrics caught me just just a little off guard. Wasn't expecting that, along with a little coffee break. And yes, I'm using BB cream. I know this is a shock because I've been using medium to full coverage foundation for like over a year. But I did mention a while back that I would eventually go back on the evolution scale of foundations and start using BB cream again. And here I am at the Neanderthal stage of said evolution scale. So yeah, and I was gonna use the Maybelline BB cream, but it was too dark for me, even though it's like the lightest shade. Obviously it was too dark. So instead I used the Revlon BB cream, which was still slightly too dark, but like a little better than the Maybelline. And um, I just mixed the two, even though they did nothing, uh, because I put the Maybelline on one side of my face and I was like, you know what, let's just be consistent. And I put it on the other side, so. And I know this isn't covering all my imperfections, which also includes my breakouts, but that's kind of the point of natural makeup is to like show your imperfections still. I know that's hard for a lot of people to get and understand, but that's what I'm getting at when I do natural makeup anyways, to make it still look like my skin. Which which is fucked up, so. And of course, continuing to drop shit and be dramatic while I'm at it. Anyway, um, now I'll be actually concealing my breakouts, uh, like slightly more. You'll still be able to see them, but like it'll be slightly more pleasant to look at rather than like making you want to throw up when you see it, you know? So I'm doing that with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and 15 Fair. And then just setting my face with my habitual Laura Mercier translucent powder. Also, sorry if this voiceover sounds like muffled or like I'm talking through a transistor radio or something, or it sounds like you're listening to a fucking President Roosevelt's fireside chat. Um, yeah, I'm using the mic from my old headphones. It's, it's ass, I know. Okay, I can't afford like a $300 mic, my apologies. But anyway, now I'll be using my L'Oreal blendable powder shits in probably the lightest shade, and I'm only using a titty bit to just even out my skin tone to make it a little bit less red than it usually is. And then now using my favorite highlighter also as of late and that is the Spoon Highlighter from Colourpop and I'm just putting that on my eyelids to make them just a little bit more snazzy than just like my normal skin colored eyelid. That sounds disturbing. Okay moving on. Now I'll be using the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara and putting a few coats even though I just put on a billion just to make my eyelashes a little bit more of a bang rather than meh you know. And then just cleaning up blobs of mascara because I can't do anything without making a fucking mess. I just use the MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara thing bitch on my bottom lash line, lower lash line, whatever. And as I just mentioned, just don't worry about the blob. You need to let it dry before you take it off with a spoolie. And now I'm using a Wet n Wild bronzer that I don't know the proper name of, but I'll put the name in the description as I usually do. And I'm just uh, bronzing my face so it's not as pale as usual. And 
I'm now using my favorite and only contour, the Makeup Geek Breakup Contour Powder, and as one usually does, chiseling. And again, I know you can still see my breakouts, but at least when I'm doing a natural makeup look, that's the point, is that I'm still trying to make it look like my skin, but like just like enhanced. It's kind of what I'm getting at. And then now using a Tarte blush called Party in uh, Raging. And then see, after letting the bits dry, now I'm taking that little blob off with a spoolie. And then using my ColourPop Spoon Highlighter again and highlighting. And then after using the NYX setting spray, I'm just going in and um, kind of like turning my breakouts into beauty spots or beauty marks with the Makeup Geek eyeliner pencil in Spice, I think it's called. Just so again, people don't want to throw up when they look at my face and see how broken out it is. Uh, instead, they'll be like, yo, she's got a lot of freckles that look really fake. And I'm just like, yes, I know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I actually surprisingly had fun filming it. Sorry, my videos have been, again, sparse and inconsistent and, like, boring, like, more so than usual. You know, I, it, it'll be fixed, and in a few months' time, some very, very, very exciting and fun videos will be coming out. Can't say what it is, because I want to surprise you hoes. Okay? Okay. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Ta-ta.